Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. Uh, on your screen you will see a monoprint which I had done uh, a while back. Uh, now I find this too dark. Uh, it seemed okay at the time uh, because I was doing a whole series of them. Uh, some are ghost prints, some are experiments, but I find that this one is a bit dark and I thought it could use a little facelift. So off screen, uh, I just wanted to show you the before. Off screen, I had arranged the stencils, the... Uh, reusable stencils and I made a cheat sheet this is a sheet of plastic so I have a guide to where the stencils should be on the plate so since this is a, a little complicated with small parts I thought I needed a uh, sort of map so uh, I'm going to put this aside. And here is my guide for uh, registration. As you can see, I have the measurements here and I always make sure that this is centered on the paper and the plate is lined up with the center line just to make sure that the image always falls in the same place. And then I have these sidebars. So when I place the paper, it doesn't go beyond this point and always lands in the same place. So it's a good device to make sure that when you make a whole bunch of prints, they are all consistent and they look much better when they're all consistent. So anyway, I will go ahead and use my guide and start laying down the stencils. So since I laid them on the original design like this, always have to remember that it's in reverse so with the cheat sheet i have to flip it over there and uh, this is a tricky part because it's very easy to forget that any kind of design you put is going to show up in reverse when you do a print. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the pieces in. Well, they may not be perfectly lined up, but it's a guide. It doesn't have to be super exact. Because um, sometimes assembling these on the, on the plate takes a little bit of time because I keep changing my mind and shuffling things around. Thank you. 
And the good thing about having this cheat sheet, I can press down and make sure that the stencils are stuck on the plate and will not shift around when I start inking. By the way, this is just a piece of clear plastic that I salvaged from a, uh, a bag or a protective cover. Uh, I ran out of acetate, so I'm making do. And this works just as well. And I can reuse this because all I have to do is use some rubbing alcohol and some cotton, and this will come right off. So I have assigned some colors. These are metallic. All of these are metallic colors. This is copper, which is one of my favorites. The copper will go in the middle. This is uh, pewter, goes in the bottom. And this is gold. Now this is a Blick Studio Acrylic Gold and this is much lighter in color. Uh, the other brands have a more uh, yellowish color. So I, I picked a light metallic gold for the top. Okay. So I'm going to start with the lightest one. And then copper. And finally, pewter. Okay. Um, I'm changing my mind again. I'm going to use a wider brayer. because I want to go like this because the bands of color go this way. Okay. So now here is the important part.
So these uh, reusable stencils go directly into a soaking pan where they get soaked in water as soon as possible. Okay. Let me just make some room here. And here is here's the print that I hope to improve. Uh, it has some collage on it, and I still think it's very dark. So I'm hoping that the metallic layer is going to brighten things up. Now every time I do this with my hand, I keep remembering the comment of one of the viewers who asked me what it would be like to pass this on a printing press. And uh, I think it will squash the plate because a printing press has so many, um, I think it's called pounds per square inch. It's such a powerful pressure that I think it will definitely damage the plate. So I'll have to be content with using my hands for now. I hope this does improve the appearance of the uh, image, which I find very dark. Okay, so I'm leaving this for about 10-15 minutes and I'll be back. I will be soaking. I have to remember not to leave this to dry. This has to be soaked as well as the stencils. So the sooner I soak these, the, the easier it will be to clean them. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is the exciting part. I think it does make an improvement. There's a little bit of misregistration on the top and bottom. That's okay. Now it, it's not as bright as I would have hoped, but I think it makes a difference. Here's a close-up. The gold is fairly transparent, so it's not very flashy. That's okay. And the... What I like is the final layer does not look like an add-on. It looks like it really belongs there. And it has some interesting textures.
So the print is not as dark as it was because it has this shine of metallic on top of it. So that was a quick fix um, because I, uh, as you know, I cannot leave well enough alone. I always have to keep adding until I feel that it's time to stop. So anyways, uh, this is a very short fix it video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Click the uh, like button, share it with your friends. And if you can, you can donate to my PayPal account to help pay for art materials and production costs. Thank you so much again, and I hope to see you next time.